Integration Made Simple by Anil Kumar Try to Understand Trigonometric Substitution in this particular video. Thanks. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are taking a very important test question based on trigonometric substitution. We need to integrate 1 over square root of a square plus x square dx. Recommended substitutions are shown here on the right hand corner. They will always help you to solve similar questions. Now, let's try to understand what kind of substitution should we do and why. So, the idea is to understand the strategy. As you can See here that denominator is a square plus x square. So we need to really simplify that. You also remember what is 1 plus tan square theta. Well, that is secant square theta. So that can help, right? So the recommended substitution here is that x can be written as a times tan theta. Now that helps since uh, dx will be a times secant square theta d theta. So, you will get a term secant theta in the numerator. So, that is one part which you need to observe. And of course, uh, a being common, we can simplify the square root term as secant theta. Now, once you get secant in the numerator, then you should also know what is the integral of secant theta d theta, right? So, that is another thing which you need to know, right? So, as you rightly remember, and it is also done in one of our videos, I'll actually share with you the link for this particular video where we have shown that the integral of secant theta d and theta is ln absolute value of tan theta plus secant theta. Correct. So, that is what it is, right? Of course, we will write plus c since these are indefinite integrals. So, this is the set of things formally related to the solution of the question at hand, right? Make sense, correct? So, make a note of all this and then begin with the substitution. Uh, another recommendation here is also so, when you say x equals to a tan theta, what is tan theta equals to? Let me write down here itself. So, we will complete this page. Tan theta will be equal to x by a, right? So, if you rearrange this equation, that is what you get. And that reminds us of a triangle where if the, the angle is theta, tan theta is x by a means x by a, right? So, the opposite side is x, adjacent is a, and this side is definitely square root of a square plus x square. So, this triangle will help us to substitute the values for tan theta and secant theta. So, that becomes complete strategy to solve the given question. Is that clear to you, right? Okay. So, so that is known to you now. Let's now begin with the substitution itself. So, I could rewrite the integral as integral of dx over square root of a square plus. Since x is a tan theta, it will be a square tan square theta, right? Now, a square tan square theta, a is taken common, right? So since a is taken common, so in the numerator, we have dx. In the denominator, once you take a square common, a comes outside the radical sign, right? And you get 1 plus tan square theta. That was the reason of substitution, correct? And that gives you integral of dx a. And this is 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. 
correct now as you can see from here dx is a secant square theta d theta right and we can now easily integrate the given expression right so let's move on to the next page where we have already reduced this to the form dx over a secant theta and since we have done the substitution which is x equals to a tan theta dx is a secant square theta d theta right so now getting back we can write this as integral of dx being replaced by a secant square theta d theta denominator we have a secant theta correct so a and a cancel and secant theta also cancel so what are you left with we have integral of secant theta d theta clear so as i was saying in our videos we have shown what is the integral of secant theta what is the integral of tan theta what is the integral of cosecant theta so watch those videos perfect and integral is actually equal to log ln to the base e absolute value of secant theta plus tan theta so you could write it tan theta or secant theta any order you could write right so secant theta plus tan theta plus c so that is the integral now you don't you don't leave it here right you as we discussed make this triangle understand what theta is so substitution was tan theta equals to x over a so x over a right and hypotenuse being x square a square plus x square we could write correct so now let's continue we can replace ln and secant theta will be hypotenuse over this which is square root of a square plus x square divided by a adjacent side plus tan theta which is x over a plus c so that becomes the integral for the given question in this particular case right so i hope this concept is absolutely clear can you now further simplify and write down the final solution for the integral at hand do it and meanwhile let me first thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos posting excellent comments and suggestions and special thanks to those who have been contributing towards the success of this particular channel we are trying to reach millions and with your donations we can do so we are providing quality education to remote areas in more than 80 countries your contributions help now let's get back to the solution this expression which we have got can be further reduced and simplified using the laws of logarithms right so let's take it on the next page and write down the final answer so what we have got this as ln integral of secant theta plus tan theta secant theta was square root of a square plus x square over a right and tan theta was x over a right this is what we got plus c now you see a is a common denominator so you can divide everything by a right so you could rewrite this as ln absolute value of square root of x square plus a square plus x square plus x right divided by a right so I'm adding this step only to make things very clear. So this is absolute value of a square plus x square plus x minus ln a, right, plus c. So that becomes the final solution of this integral. 
is that clear to you right so once again let's try to see all the steps first thing is the substitution so if you have a square plus x square in the denominator the substitution is x equals to a tan theta reason being that you can use the pythagorean trigonometric identity to simplify this to secant square theta and you know the integral of secant square theta is in ln and therefore once you get that write the integral simplify the terms and then finally write down your answer i hope the steps are absolutely clear so in the next video we'll take up a similar question but where the integral will be x square minus a square in the denominator and as recommended you may have to do the substitution x equals to a secant theta try it out okay so we'll end this video with the integral of the question i hope you understand and appreciate it feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos it'd be great thanks for your time and all the best